Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video I just thought we could get ready together. Um, I could just do my sort of current makeup that I'm sort of wearing every single day um, and also really just focusing on the glowy dewiness of the skin. Um, I also want to try and blur a little bit of my skin here because with me losing a lot of natural tan at the moment, I've started to fake tan again on my face and that always brings out the natural definition in pores because the colour sits there so you want to smooth it out a little bit and kind of hide that, um, so that's what I'm going to do today. So if you guys are new to my channel then welcome um, and my name is Poppy so on here you'll just find all things kind of dewy, glowy, um, natural, very healthy looking, just fun makeup I guess. So I've already done my skincare and yeah my skincare at the moment I'm experimenting with different products so there's like a mixture of different things on here. First I put the Nip and Fab Tan so this is a like luminizing fake tan liquid and I put that on my face. I did that first thing this morning and I also spritz over the top with the San Tropez Purities Mist and then I just let that sink in since I think maybe nine o'clock that's been on so it's had a couple of hours to soak into the skin dry down ready for makeup and just give me like a bronzy glowy kind of look I'm just gonna get some little bobby pins and just quickly like pin a little bit of my fringe back ready for makeup i put like um, a bit of a waver through my hair so that it just has this natural kind of beachy wave and to start with I'm going to go in with the MAC Face and Body Foundation this is back in the shade C5 just because I have got tan on my face now so this is more my colour um, and I do want to add just that like that little bit of warmth to my skin so this foundation is just perfect for that natural dewy glow if you see me looking here it's because my mirror is here and yeah, I've done two videos dedicated to this foundation now, so if you guys want to know more about it or why I really, really love it, then definitely check those out. So yeah, I'm just aiming to get this glorious, glossy looking skin that looks super, super natural. I mean, this is just my everyday kind of look. I mean, if you guys already have this, then you're going to love this foundation because it's just going to keep your skin looking exactly how you want it and how it looks. Um, and if you're really dry like me, um, this is such a good foundation to enhance glow and health and dewiness and radiance. It's just so, so good. It just looks so good. And this is like one layer, so you could apply more layers to this skin if you want to. But um, this is a big pot, so it's going to last me a really, really long time, which is how I want my um, foundations to last. If I'm spending money on them, they need to last. So I'm just buffing this in. I'm going to put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury... Um, lip collagen bath on because my lips are so so dry as well at the moment and it really it kind of plumps them but it's not got any tingling sensation it's just really hydrating tastes like peppermint and just gives them a little bit of something so i want to go in with my charlotte tilbury flawless filter um this product is just something else i mean again this product is amazing so I just want to put it on my kind of high points of the face and also just anywhere I want to add a little bit more shine. This will add the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount of coverage too. So if you like a full coverage look, then this is good to add on top of foundation or mix with because it will just add a little bit of something extra but keep that natural glow. But nothing intense. Like if you were to wear it on its own, it would just basically look like you're not wearing anything. But it's there, you know, it's a tint. Get my nose. <laughs> okay. And I found I've got quite dark circles underneath my eyes at the moment. So I do need to um, conceal just a little bit underneath my eyes as well. But look how like radiant the skin is looking. Just 
so glossy and healthy. It looks healthy. I think these videos are going to be so, so good to go back to in autumn, winter when everything is dry. Like, the air is cold and it makes you dry as well. I think these will be good videos to look back on because the air is hot and relatively humid so it gives you a natural dew as well um, but I find in winter I struggle more to get a dewy look than I do in summer whereas some people find it the opposite so um, if you struggle like me in winter you'll love this kind of video. Okay so for concealer as normal I'm just going in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. As you can see just by like looking at it it's so glossy and buttery looking and that sort of translates on the skin as well so that will just give you a really really natural skin like look to with concealer but this one is like a light to medium coverage concealer it's very creamy it's very buttery it never creases on me either and this does look like skin it's crazy um but yeah this is best as well to apply with your finger because the warmth of your finger melts the products into your skin so seamlessly and so naturally and beautifully. Okay, so for my bronzer, as always, I love the Fenty Cream Bronzer. The shade that I have is Honey Glaze. It's a very light consistency, as in there is hardly any pigmentation on the product. You really have to build it up. Um, and obviously the darker you go, the less pressure you'll need to get pigment but I do find that this looks very scary in the pan but on the skin it looks super natural so I'll show you what I mean. I like to use a sponge for this because I think it gives the most natural kind of finish on the skin so I kind of just tap it in a little bit and I press it into my skin and it adds warmth. I'm not using this to contour because this is not a colour for contour but I like to add natural sun-kissed warmth to my skin um, and I want it to really keep a dewy finish, which this does. It keeps a really like dewy, glossy finish on the skin. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffy brush. I'm going to dab it in. And I just want to put a bit through the socket of my eye as well. I want this look to be quite monochromatic and quite seamless. So it sort of blends in really easily. See this? I'm much easier now that I've zoomed in. So it's just blending in beautifully into the socket of the eye. I'm just working this into the brow as well. And just blending it out because then all the colours kind of blend together. They look really, really seamless um, and effortless. And I'm just going to put a bit on my nose as well. Kind of shape my nose a little bit as well. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, shall I go in with a like pink cheek? So I'm going to take this blusher, um, and this is from Glossy, it's the Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. So it's a really nice like bubblegum pink, but it's a very light coverage consistency, it's very sheer. I'm going to take this um, blending brush as well, this one is from uh, my Kit Coat, it's the Stippling brush. And I'm going to take it kind of like, like this, I'm going to run it across the top, and this allows the pigment to be very sheer and it just blends, it's super natural. I'm just going to buff this. I like to take it kind of up here because when I get a natural tan, I catch sun in this area and it looks really fresh. Across the top and just here again. It's actually quite a sunny day today. If you can hear somebody cutting the grass, that's why because it's the weather is just absolutely stunning. It's been terrible weather for such a long period of time. Like we've had like two weeks, three weeks of it been just literally miserable, rainy, cloudy weather. And now the sun is just making a slight appearance for a few hours a day, which is just making my mood vastly, vastly improved. And as you're watching this, it is Sunday. So I'm filming this, I'm editing this, and I'm uploading this to you guys today, hopefully. Um, because yeah, I just felt like kind of, because I have pre-filmed videos, I have pre-edited, pre-filmed videos ready to go up as and when and when they're scheduled, but you know sometimes you're just in a mood and you like want to film and upload a video all in one day that you just kind of feel inspired to do. It, this is one of those kinds of videos. Add a little bit more gloss um, just to like the high points of my face because I just love that kind of look. Um, you could leave this here though, by all means. Um, so I'm going to take this from MAC. It's their Strobe Face Glaze Illuminator. 
and I'm just going to put this on any kind of high points of the face, maybe even my chin. You need the tiniest amount of this product. Taking the same brush that I used the blush for, I'm gonna buff this in. Can you see how like wet it makes the skin look? It's super glossy. I love it so, so much. It is literally a gloss for your face. I think I want to put more blush on, but I don't think I'm going to use any more cream. I'm going to go in with this one. This is from Too Faced and it's Justify My Love. It's like a pink love heart shaped blusher. I'm going to take a little bit of this on as a weaver brush. Half off the excess. I'm just going to, I want to accentuate this part of my face, you know, just like here. So it looks a little bit more sunburnt, I guess. I kind of like that look on the middle of my face. It's like a natural, soft, sunburnt flush. So I bought a um, new Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Blonde um, because I wanted to add colour to my brows but I hate when my brows are too dark. So I wanted to get a lighter shade and because this doesn't even look blonde, this looks like a light brown to me. I've never tried this shade so this is the first time I'm using it and I already love it. <laughs> Because I know that I like the formula, but I wanted to add colour to my brows, but I hate it when the darker um, brow gels just add too much depth. I don't know. I just like it to be soft and light and fluffy. Okay, so lastly then is mascara. Mascara makes such a difference to everybody's look. You don't have to put it on both top and bottom, you can just put it on the top lashes, which I do pretty much all the time. And it just gives your eyes just that little bit more definition. Okay, and then just to blur out the centre of my face a little bit, I'm going to go in with my um, Glossier Translucent Powder. I think this is in the shade Medium. Okay, I'm going to take a really small brush. This is a Zoeva 220 brush, and I just want to press the powder into this area here. So I'm, I'm avoiding my cheek, but I do want to just blur here. Okay guys, so this is the finished look that I've just created, sort of every day, super fresh, super dewy, you guys love my dewy makeup looks and it's basically just me. So pretty much every look you'll see is pretty dewy. Sometimes I throw in a matte look or a full coverage look for, you know, catering everybody's needs but every day these are the kind of looks that I just absolutely adore. And yeah, so I'm going to crack on. I've got loads and loads of work to do today. I'm going to edit this video as well. So it's going to be busy for me. I've got some chilli in the slow cooker. I mean, it's one of those days. We've already had some quotes and like someone come round to look at the bathroom because we need to do our bathroom. So that's house stuff as well that we're doing. And yeah, everything's just quite exciting at the moment. Got some secret, super exciting things going on. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. Going on behind the doors that I will be able to reveal to you at some point. But yeah, some exciting things to look forward to, guys. Um, so that's everything. As always, make sure you subscribe and ring a notification bell or whatever you want to do, just to make sure you don't miss a video from me. You can follow me on my Instagram as well, because I do share when I post and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, that's everything, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!